Hey guys, this is Kugli again with the video. I know I haven't been here for a long time now. Um, it's been busy, it's been busy with a lot of things. Uh, these are things which I do wish to discuss with you. Okay, this mostly about this setup. This, this, this is basically my studio and I just wanted to get some time to fix it all before I start discussing about all of this. It's been taking out a lot of time whenever I'm home. If you don't know, I don't stay home most of the time, but whenever I'm home, I'm working on these things. It's been a ride, but now, why am I making this video? To be short, I was frustrated with something which has been, something which I've been dealing with for the past month or so. So I just wanted to talk to you guys about this frustrating shithole which is getting something repaired, replaced from an authorized service center. This time I'm talking about Insta360. Let's get started. <laughs> what is the issue let's get started with what happened okay this camera if you don't know this camera this has been this is the insta360 go 2 it is an amazing little camera i really really like it it has been an amazing yeah it just it's been really cool i've been using this everywhere i go on vacations when i go for work when i go for just go directly out when I just go out. I use this. It's a very compact. You can see it's like the size of a finger. Like see, it's that small. It is amazing that how how much engineering or probably something went into this one. It is a really cool camera with a lot of features, a lot of issues, but still the features or the size of it makes it so much good that this is a camera which you can keep with you all the time if you have a kid if you have a pet if you go out and you want a like short real sized parts of your life captured this is perfect yes everybody has a phone but you by the time you take your phone out take a picture or take a video this one is just there it is so amazing i really 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 like it i've been using this for a while now it's been about two years now since i first got it it has been great recently i went to a trip i went snorkeling i went diving and all that and well i don't know if you know this but this one is rated to about let's see how much water resistant it is it is waterproof to something okay i guess it is like a very shallow waterproof i think it can go up to four meters or something the case is not only the camera is and uh, understandable there's nothing wrong with that that's normally how things are i took this one uh, for snorkeling not even diving i took it for snorkeling i'll roll a clip you can see how deep it went even after that it was working properly no issues it was working properly and suddenly at some point it stopped working like this is what it would do like if i start it i get one vibration and uh, if you know uh, in 360 this is supposed to go cyan and not blue so yeah it would be just stuck it is not going to work it's just not working properly this has been an issue so i contacted insta360 to see if there was anything they could do i am fully aware that this was out of warranty it did not have i'm not going to get any free replacements or anything i was willing to pay for a service or even a replacement because this is that good it is an amazing camera of all of the cameras i have in my arsenal including my s22 pro s20 ultra my sony a6000 my gopro like sj cam s6000 which i had everything out of all of this this was probably the first one which i would go for because it's so simple and so easy and so useful i contacted them they gave me a service center in india i contacted them first of all contacting them is a chore i will not name what service center it is because there's only one first of all they will they have a working time respectfully no issues with that from 11 o'clock in the morning to 7 o'clock in the evening understandable monday to friday perfectly fine but if i text them at 11 in the morning they will probably reply maybe at 2 o'clock in the afternoon if I reply to that, no reply anymore. Maybe next day they will reply or usually they don't even reply. I have to reply to them again. I have to text them again just to get a reply on something which I talked about yesterday. Whatever. This happened. Finally, I was able to get hold of them and uh, I was able to talk to them about the issue. I sent them videos. I sent them everything. They asked me for my serial number or the purchase date, the invoice. I sent them everything. They first said that it is out of warranty. 
I know, I know it's out of warranty. Is there something they can do about it? This was my question. And uh, they told me they can only do replacement and no repairs and the replacement will be chargeable. I asked them, no, no repairing, they did not reply. And then I guess, okay, fine. I will get the replacement. How much for the replacement? This is what I asked. They said to pack it up, send them with my invoice, with my issues, everything written on a piece of paper. I still have that piece of paper here, which I did send them because I bought this from Amazon. But on the issue, I have written everything and I send it to them. Well, they uh, got the package about a week later because this is something with battery. The courier services are not going to send it through airlines. I had to do road transportation, whatever. It took some time. It reached. I asked them after, you know, I could see the tracking. I was tracking it and it reached there. They did not tell me anything. I asked them again after a day if you have received it. They told me that they received it yesterday and they are looking into it. It will take four to seven days to check. I said, okay contact me as soon as you have any information another week goes by now i i guess that okay well maybe they are talking about seven working days because you know saturday sundays i waited 10 days no issue no information no talks no nothing they are not telling me anything so i contact them again asking them what is the situation i don't remember if they contact me that day or they replied to me the next day after i called them again they told me that well what is the serial number of the car, uh, of the camera i sent them the serial number first of all they told me that i have i didn't send them the box the original box i sent them the, just the camera because this was supposed to be something they check and they tell me what the issue is right they told me they were they, at first they accused me that i didn't send them the box every time when i repair something i need to send them the official box or original box along with the accessories i said that's bullshit i'm not going to do that First thing. After that, they told me that, well, this is out of warranty, so they cannot do any repairs or they can, or they can only give me a replacement if I pay for it. That kind of pissed me off because this was the same answer they told me at first. I agreed to it. I asked them how much would the replacement be, but then they told me to send this to them for them to check. Now, why did I waste two weeks for this thing to be sent, for them to check and do all of this bullshit? For them to just tell me the same BS they told me at the first day. I could have saved two weeks. I literally asked them, like, is my time a joke to you? Like, really? Do I do I do you think that I have time for this for every single day to text them and ask them what the situation is, what the problem is, or anything of that sort? So I asked. Then they went to say that, well, their WhatsApp team, because we were contacting on WhatsApp, their WhatsApp team and their sales team and their repair team is not you know, through or they don't understand, they, they may be, it might be a problem with the communication team. Fix it. This is not a cheap product, okay? Okay, there are a lot of people using Insta 360 devices. X3, X2, the Go2, these are really useful. A lot of people are using it, especially bikers. A lot of people are paying good money for it. This is not cheap. I bought this at what, 28, 26,000 rupees, something like that. This is not a cheap product. I have an SJ Cam to SJ6000. If they were telling me that it is you know, their communication team is not up to mark. I would understand that because that thing was a 6,000 rupees or 10,000 rupee product. Understandable. This is not cheap product. After which they told me that, okay, whatever it is, we can look at a solution. I said, fine, I'm not here to, you know, have a fight. Let's look at a solution. So they gave me two, three options. First of all was just to send me a single camera, like a replacement camera, sell me a replacement camera, or they can send me a open box of the same camera, the Insta360 Go 2, 32 gig version, and I asked them basically if they have a 64 gig version, and they said yes, they do have a 64 gig version, and I asked them for a discount, they were allowing me a little bit of discount. This is the thing, I was willing to pay the almost the full price for it. I told them, okay, I'm willing to get the new camera. Now, this is what I asked them because, well, I will be traveling soon. Uh, I asked them, if I send them the money today, will you be able to dispatch? They said they will dispatch it tonight because this was a Saturday. I didn't want them to be dispatching this on a Monday and get this getting to me after two weeks because I don't know. So I confirmed with them. They told me verbatim that they will discharge it today, dispatch it today. I agreed, send them the money. I asked them, please send me tracking ID. No reply, it, and it eventually became seven o'clock, and then no reply, and the next day was Sunday. Of course, no reply. On Monday, I asked them again, 
give me the tracking they sent me the tracking id fine i was tracking it every single day issues with tracking and issue with courier is nothing new to me i have had issues with the certain couriers other couriers because of my location understandable fine and uh, one day i got a call from the courier office saying that hey i have a they have a product for me i can go collect it i went to there collected it and guess what arrived my old camera no news about my new camera which i paid for on that day which was what i wanted delivered as soon as possible that's why i said even if it is the evening i will send you the money and you dispatch it today so i can get it by next week or whatever time it is i don't want to wait for two more days for them to dispatch it uh, i texted them asking them where is the new camera and uh, this is what they had to say the tracking ID they shared is for the old camera. The tracking ID for the new camera has not been shared. First of all, they did not tell me anything. So I was under the impression that they are sending both of them together. So one tracking ID. So I politely asked them, do you have a different tracking ID? No, before that, I was a little impolite and asked them, is this a joke? Like seriously, like you send me the old camera and no information about the new camera which I paid for. And finally, they said that they will look for the tracking ID and tell me. And apparently, lo and behold, they had a different tracking ID which was sent on a Monday, of course. And they generously provided me with the tracking ID so I could track my hard earned uh, purchase. I asked them, I told you to send this on Saturday so there will not be any delays what happened and this was their only reply that sorry for the delay i basically gave up on texting them or talking to them i just waited if it comes around it comes around or else i'm just going to get it and uh, not be able to use it. like two days went by and today i got the package i got my insta 360 go to 64 gigs because this is what i opted for it's working i don't really feel that it would have any issues mechanically this is the camera box and everything you've already seen this one uh, which I have been using, uh, I did make an unboxing video for it. Really good camera, but come on guys. All this headache and issues, I don't know, this feels odd and this feels like unnecessary. Seriously, like if your excuse is that your communication team is not properly informed or they don't know, I don't know, is that, isn't that not a problem? That's a huge problem. Insta360 is not a small company, it's a huge company who is who has various products out in the market and a lot of products are in India these you can officially buy it I am expecting support for this and if your communication team cannot handle it get better communication team hire someone better if you don't have enough people hire more people what this is not this is not a simple problem which uh, I don't know like this should be something which is addressed this is what I feel like so that happened well, at least I got my product. I, tell, I, I texted the communication team that I got my product. I'm glad it worked out. And they said again, sorry for the delay. Fine. Sorry wouldn't have cut it if I would have missed it because tomorrow or day after, day after tomorrow, I'll be leaving the town. I'll be leaving the country. So I won't be getting this. What to do then? Nothing. I cannot do anything. Well, at the end of it, I guess there was a slightly happy ending or something happier than not getting the product. So I have the camera so I can use it on my travel. So it is at least not the worst of it. All the headaches and everything, it is just not worth it. It was really, really too much. Anyways, that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to talk about. I know it's a rant kind of video. In 360, you guys need to make better uh, service centers. Your people who are in communication needs to be better at this than how it is right now it, it feels like a defeat <laughs> you need to fix it anyways well on another note i have two of them i can use this case for this camera and it should work for a while at least i have the case which i can use with this one for more battery and more everything and more controls and everything so that is one thing i guess that's pretty much it i don't want to spend more of your time so yeah I hope you guys like the video. Please share, subscribe, and like the video if you found it useful. Well, I don't know if this kind of video is any useful. It's just me ranting about why everything is shit. So no, don't subscribe for these kind of videos. Subscribe for my other videos. There are much better videos uh, where I tell you more about tech or whatever it is. So yeah, take care. See you guys. Bye.